Welcome back everyone, this is Shadow Drag, and the topic of this video is going to be load and set instructions. Now there are there are more complicated load and set instructions, but so the we will focus predominantly on the function on those functions that work with the pins. Now, because of that, we're gonna go on ahead and set the pins. The first one's gonna be the grow light. Next one is going to be a lever. Alright. Now, load and set functions are going to be the main tool of the trade. After all, you intend to get information from devices, use that information to manipulate or cause something to happen to some other devices. And so we're just going to go over these instructions because they're basically your main bread and butter. If you're familiar with these, feel free to skip. So. Let's go over load and set. Now, let's pause. The load is just a plain L. And as you hover over it, you load some device logic to a register. So in this case, let's just say I want to load the lever states. Now, I can do it just like this. But... Before we do that, let's let's go ahead and reuse alias and defines how we wanted it. So let's just alias our grow light to D0 and alias our lever to D1 for easy readability. And just for simply says just to make this simple, let's just alias a lever state to R0. Remember, there's nothing wrong with a with with not doing this. Line 5 and line 6 do the same exact things. The only difference between line 5 and line 6 is line 5, you're more likely to come back and see what's happening and understand it as opposed to something as vague as line 6. Because let me tell you, the, the parameter for setting is used in many devices. It'll be hard to tell what it is. Now, so as you can see, the load instruction has been written and it follows the instruction logic. Now I can go on ahead and export this to easier to read. But by itself like that it's not gonna it's not gonna do much. So what I am going to do is add an SDB setting for lever state. Now what that will do DB is a special device pin for whatever is holding your IC10. In this case, it will be the housing. So when I have this, so what I am telling the program is, I'm going to write whatever my variable lever state is to the DB housing. As you can see, the set, come on, the set instruction is similar to load. But you're writing a valuable, a variable. You're writing a value to a device. Now, as it is right now, it's gonna, it's going to kind of work, but it will only execute one time because I haven't done any loops. I'll go over that in a little bit. So, if I were to add the lever to one, and then turn this on, you'll see that my housing is reflecting that it is a zero. Now, in order for me to see a zero. I'm going to need to just remove this chip and put it back. So in a sense, I am reading the lever state and writing it to my chip. Now, I may have gotten a little bit of ahead of myself. So let me talk about how you can look up device information. So whenever you put anything out in the world, for example, a lever, you can always refer back to your stationpedia from that specific device. And when you look at the logic setting, it'll give you a list of all the parameters that are available for that specific device. So for example, my lever has open lock setting, name hash, reference ID, and prefab hash. Underneath these, you see that they have a read or a write parameter or descriptor for under those parameters. 
read means that you are capable of loading a value from that parameter ID. Write means that you are actually able to change the state of that parameter. So reads work with the L instruction for load. Writes work with the S instruction. So let's 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 take something. Like let's let's see if we can write to open for this lever. So let's go back to our program. Let's go ahead and remove this. And let's just say we're going to set lever open. It is case sensitive. And let's just say that we're going to tell it to open. Just open as a one. So as soon as we export, uh, you see that my chip wrote a one to this lever and forced it to open. So now let's do the same thing except for lock and see what happens. Lock is kind of self-explanatory. Right now I'm able to manipulate it. But if I were to change this to lock, export it, my chip should have written that, and I no longer can interact with this device. So this is the absolute basics for the load and set. And whenever you build any device in the world and you wish to understand it, how to control it, I highly recommend that you make a simple text pla test platform just like this and just manipulate the logic a few steps at a time, a few commands at a time, just to get an idea for how these different parameters work. Additionally, to go along with that, if you have a, a configuration cartridge and slotted it into your tablet, you can use that to point at a device and see what its internal logic parameters are. So let's, for example, we want to read the reference ID and write it to my housing. So as you can see, the reference ID is 4347. So we're going to go back to the computer. We're going to load from the lever. Whoops. We're going to load to R1 from the lever reference ID. ID. We're going to go on ahead and first unlock that. And so we're going to write to the housing R1. So what should happen is we're going to load the reference ID. We're going to unlock the lever. And then we're going to write that reference ID to the housing. So when we export this, let's see what happens. All right, this is no longer locked. As you see, that went to a zero. I'm now able to manipulate this. The reference ID 4347 is inside my housing. If we want to do something like load the lever state, and then turn on the grow light, we can do something like this. So when we export that, you see the grow light turns on. Now, because our program is very limited in the basics, right now I have to remove the housing, put it back to affect, to have a change in state. All right. So to review, the load and the set instructions are going to be your basic. They're going to be the basic instructions you're going to be using. To understand what you can affect in a device, Look it up in the Stationpedia. So let, in this case, let's look up the grow light. And under the logic section, it will give you all the parameters that you can read or write from a specific device. Additionally, if you print yourself a configuration cartridge from the electronics printer and put it on your tablet, 
you are able to look at a device and be able to see the data in that device. So, as you get started with the with anything that you want to automate, definitely feel free to play around with different devices. Manipulate any any parameter that you can write to to see what happens. So let's take a look at a solar panel. Doesn't matter. You can see that I can write a horizontal and a vertical or read from it. Always try messing with the logic. See what happens because the more you mess with any any piece of equipment in stationers, the deeper understanding you have and that will eventually translate to you being able to write effective code for controlling your devices how you need. All right. So, next up in the video series is just it's let's see. Next up, we're going to do looping. All right. Hope to see you then.